Does your deep sleep look like this? Would you like it to look like this? If so, I will have a bunch of different tips for you to improve your sleep and to feel great every morning. Welcome to HIV Hackers, the channel that's dedicated to improving your health, heart rate variability. If you're new here and want to get updates for all the new releases, consider subscribing and clicking the bell. So what exactly is the role of deep sleep during the stages that you go through every night? So the first stage is your transition into light sleep. It's kind of like a meditative state. It lasts about 10 minutes and that's stage one. Now after stage one, you go into stage two where you're in light sleep and it lasts between 10 to 25 minutes. And you can think of this stage as your transition towards deep sleep, which is stage three. So one of our goals is going to be to minimize the time that we spend in stage two so that we spend more time in stage three. Once we actually get to stage three and are in deep sleep, our body uses this time to repair, regrow muscle, and to strengthen our immune system. And in addition, our brain's glymphatic system uses that time to detox itself. The fourth stage of sleep is the REM sleep stage. I know that a lot of you watching this video will be interested in tips on how to increase the time that you get in REM sleep as well. So that video will be coming up next and I will update the video description when this video is ready. So now let's talk about the different methods that I've been using to increase my deep sleep and that you can easily incorporate into your life. I think this video is to be used as medical advice. Always consult with your doctor, especially if you have a medical condition. So the first is lavender essential oil. A study as recent as 2021 showed that incorporating lavender into your sleep routine is going to increase your deep sleep and increase your vigor throughout the next day. Now, if you're new to essential oils, I did a video in the past, which I will link in the video description, that showed how you can use lavender to increase your heart rate variability throughout the day. But it was very exciting to see that it's also an excellent and very inexpensive tool that you can use while you're sleeping to get more deep sleep. And by the way, it's gonna smell amazing, so that's also a huge bonus. Next, I wanna talk about one of the most impactful supplements that I've used to increase my deep sleep and overall sleep, and it's glycine. Now, glycine is an amino acid that you can get by consuming meat, fish, legumes, but most likely to increase your deep sleep, you're gonna be needing to supplement glycine. I'm personally taking three grams per night, and similar to lavender, glycine is just very pleasant. It's very tasty. Now, a study where volunteers ingested three grams of glycine showed that they had shorter sleep onset and also they were able to get to slow wave sleep, which is deep sleep, faster, meaning they spent less time in other stages like stage two sleep, which we talked about a little bit before. Exercise. Resistance training helps your body produce this chemical called adenosine, which inhibits neural activity and causes drowsiness. Resistance training with things like weights or resistance bands has been shown to increase all aspects of sleep but in particular, sleep quality, which is really what we're looking for here. Calming words. Do you remember what it was like when you were a kid and your parents would tell you these sweet, calming things to get you to go to sleep? Well, this same mechanism still works for us as adults. A 2021 study showed that listening to relaxing words during the deep sleep stage increased the deep sleep as well as subjective sleep quality. Now, since we as consumers don't really have a way to only play soothing words during the deep sleep phase, what we can do for now is go on YouTube, find a video that plays soothing words for us, and just very quietly have them be playing in the background, either as you're falling asleep or just keep it going in a loop as you're sleeping the whole time. I've personally found this to be very helpful on days where I'm just having a really hard time falling asleep because I'm upset about something that happened earlier in the day. Okay, so let's say that listening to soothing words is not for you. The other awesome option that's out there is listening to the best kind of music that'll give you more sleep and in particular, deep sleep. Now, while you could start experimenting with different soothing kinds of music out there, including classical to see which gives you the most deep sleep, 
what I've been doing for quite some time now is opening up my Brain FM app, which has specific science-based music tracks that have been shown in their own studies to increase deep sleep. And I've definitely noticed a good result whenever I use those soundtracks. Now, if you want to learn more about Brain.fm, you can check out the review that I did earlier, and I will link that in the video description. Now, I don't think any video that talks about improving your deep sleep would be complete without also mentioning one of my absolute favorite supplements, magnesium, particularly magnesium bisglycinate, or you can also try magnesium threonate. Magnesium, besides having about 100 different benefits for your health, has also been shown to increase deep sleep. Cold exposure, or maybe even warm exposure. Now, there's various studies that show that some people can benefit from taking, let's say, a cold shower approximately one to two hours before sleep, and they will get more deep sleep. Now, the other thing you can also do is get a mattress attachment such as 8sleep or chili pad, which will help lower your body temperature during the night, which will lead to better sleep. Unfortunately, the results of various studies that I've looked at are mixed as to whether or not you would benefit from cold exposure or warm exposure. So it is going to take some experimentation. So if you're somebody who would benefit from warm exposure before sleep, you would want to instead take a warm shower one to two hours before sleep, or maybe go to the sauna if that's available and open and do something like that a couple of hours before sleep. So it is going to take experimentation. Try the different methods that I mentioned for about a week and to see which one increases your deep sleep. Pace deep breathing. Now, this is one of my favorite practices that I tend to do throughout the day, but science has been showing that it is associated with not only an increase in heart rate variability and calming down your nervous system, but an increase in delta wave power during deep sleep. Higher delta power is associated with higher sleep quality. So this is something we want more of. So how do you easily incorporate pace breathing into your life? You get a pace breathing app and you set it to approximately six breaths per minute and you just have this playing in the background as you go about your day or do it for at least 15 minutes before you go to sleep. I'll link some free apps that allow you to do this in the video description. Weighted blankets. Now, while there haven't been studies that show specifically that weighted blankets will increase deep sleep for a majority of people, I did want to mention them because I know that a lot of people are going through stress and anxiety that are watching this video and weighted blankets have been shown to very quickly lower levels of anxiety and stress. So people that are dealing with these issues will very likely benefit from using weighted blankets and they will notice increases in their deep sleep. That is my theory. All right, guys, hope this was helpful. Much love and I will see you in the next video that talks about REM sleep.